it was a remarkable show. Can it continue here this afternoon as we are set to tip things off at Cameron? Athletic, talented teams that they will ever face. I mean, there's no question about that. But good to get a start here in transition. Army plays fast, Doug. So Josh Caldwell with the first two points of the afternoon. He's a freshman making his second career start. Zion Williamson with his first two. Ooh, cross court to Barrett. His second try also off the mark. Williamson tracks down the rebound, and he lays it in. Into the game, Aaron Duhart, number 23 in black for Army. Jordan Fox from the baseline. Finds a crowd in the paint, kicks it out with eight on the shot clock. Cam Reddish pulls up. And he gets the roll. As any freshman could in his first college game, he's a terrific shooter. Funk kicks it out. Alex King gets the roll. Did not start in their first game against Marist. Had only practiced three times before that game, coming off an ankle injury. 12-0 at the under-16 timeout. Well, they have effectively traded back. We've had three ties so far. Williamson just wills himself to the bucket. He's got six early points. Big triple at the other end. Army keeping pace. Talked about the leadership skills, that it's the best place on the planet to learn how to become a leader, and it has played such a central role in his professional and personal career. It's the greatest leadership institution in the world uh, for de developing leaders. Don't tell David Robinson, who's in the house today, <laughs> but uh, it's a special place. Duke with the basketball, leading 17-13. Barrett, Jones, Deloria. Reddish with the basketball, Williamson also out there. And three for three from the perimeter. Army down seven, pass deflected. Easy layup by Jacob Kessler. The senior from Richmond, Virginia. Jimmy Allen, Army's head coach, has said, are you going to do that here in Cameron? He said, we're going to be who we are. We're going to put who we are up against one of the best teams in the country. Camera crew embedded with this team for four solid months. <laughs> it really is remarkable to be able to see behind the curtain that the program Coach K has built. Alex O'Connell has also come in. Williamson just bigger than everybody else. Over Marquise Bolden, the shot is no good by Lonnie Grayson. Zion! If you don't know, now you know, Zion. I look at him and then I look at myself in the mirror, I wonder how he and I are of the same species. Really, I mean, the same stuff I did with Jason Williams, Jay Williams when he was here, where we didn't have Jay Williams lift a lot of weights, those guys are just, they are just physically gifted. Army with a basketball, down only six, just past the midpoint here. Cameron Indoor on Veterans Day. And there's Tommy Funk, the junior co-captain out of Archbishop Wood High School. Williamson spins into the lane, kicks to the side. Triple again. Finally finding the mark. A nice pass and a nice finish. Oh, when Zion Williamson gets the basketball that close, it's game over team for Zion to play at Spartanburg Day School. It's all basketball for him. But can you imagine him being an edge rusher on the Duke football team? That was Tucker Blackwell. And on the breakaway, it's Funk with the finger roll. They're well, plugging gaps nicely. Been out of Heath Woodhall High School in South Carolina. Lost the basketball, and here come the Blue Devils. Barrett lays it up. And throws it down. Again, Zion always around the ball. That live ball turnover is a killer. I mean, you just cannot turn it over against Duke because they're too good in the open floor, too athletic, too fast, too good of finishers. Now, how about the little drop up off there? I think even I could throw that lob. Ball quickly, doesn't hold on to it. He's so reminiscent of his brother. What a winner! his brother was. Loose to Reddish. Duke back the other way. R.J. Barrett. A chance for three for the junior co-captain from Shipman, Virginia. Haven't panicked in, in the face of Duke's ball pressure. Look at this. Terrific ball movement to find Wilson on the low block. And, father, and again on this Veterans Day, we celebrate those who have 
chosen to serve. O'Connell buries the three. Fox gives it back to Kessler, blocked by White. Three that you're throwing out there, Captain Spatola. Pass kicked out, Blackwell, and Army continues. 6'8", freshman from Greensburg, Indiana. Look at the spacing. Nice cut. And there he is, throwing it down. Has been impeccable in this half. And Duke has been somewhat complicit with their turnovers, and Army has really taken advantage. Army had two put-back opportunities. Williamson able to get to the rim at will. And he's right about the missed layups. They had a missed dunk on the break, which again, if you're being aggressive, I'm fine with. But those kind of shots, what a block. He defensively would love for Duke to take every time. Fox. Yes. The putback by Matt Wilson. We're connected as far as plugging those gaps than Kentucky was. Boy, Reddish has one of the prettiest strokes you will ever see. Get back in transition. Jordan Fox has to pull it out, though. Tommy Funk dump it off. Good looking set for the Black Knights. Getting into the paint when they want. Bolden passes out of the double team. Another triple. R.J. Barrett, his first bucket since the nine-minute mark of the first half. Suns, of course, they don't get to see him too often during the year. And then a chance to come to Cameron Indoor. And the parents, just like the players yesterday at practice, walked into this building. Off the timeout, Duke continues its pressure. And that snaps the run. Nice-looking mid-range shot by Alex King. Tommy Funk driving on Barrett, uses the left hand off the window, but couldn't get the roll. Back to Funk, nice bounce pass. it inside. And once again, Army. We have the assist on the game-winning bucket in the opener against Marist on Tuesday, made by Funk. And again, good ball movement. 25 points for them, six rebounds. Has really good size, particularly for that league. And what a play there by Barrett. What did you think? And, and he was one of the guys on Army who said, look, we're coming here to play. Block shot by Williamson. You're out of your mind. I'm I telling mean, you, how much, unless you're a member of, there's another one. He just gobbled up that shot. Well, there's the left-hander, the crafty left-hander getting it done. This team could beat an NBA <laughs> team is ludicrous. All right, so let's look short-term rather than long-term as Funk buries the corner three. Particularly in practice, is as good as Barrett and Reddish are, they don't quite have the motor, the persistent motor that Zion Williamson has. Academics and their physical training and their military training to become leaders of character for our nation. And the, the words of years ago at the uh, 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month when fighting ceased in World War I, but for, I think, the whole country, it's an opportunity collectively. Factories, like with people who, they want to see cadets go through the struggle. Well, you know, there's a lot of evolving and change at the academy. You know what, when uh, the cadets walk in here to Cameron for practice yesterday, that's the first and only thing Chris noticed. I think he started scratching his own neck. <laughs> Zion Williamson with another block shot. This is, uh, you don't see that walking down the... And we mentioned it earlier. He said that when seeing Coach Krzyzewski for the first time in person here today, motions going on, I would say right from the start, Army has done very well compartmentalizing that stuff. Triple by Jack White. Four freshmen on the floor for Duke along with co-captain Jack White, who has played so well here in the early going this season. Trey Jones buries the three. White off the feed from Jones. Wow. Williamson on the reverse. The mantra of their coaching staff is less is more. They're going to allow these guys to play. They only called about three plays the other night against Kentucky.
Trey Jones. There's the versatility you're talking about. Good looking stroke by John Amezi. Well, a salute indeed to the Army Black Knights who acquitted themselves extremely well here this afternoon.